Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to talk about coffee. Now, a lot of people love coffee and are addicted to caffeine in the morning, but there's actually some huge risks to drinking coffee that people aren't aware of. And I just want to share my story and the dangers of drinking coffee. So coffee is highly acidic, meaning that its pH is below the alkaline level. It has a pH of around 3.5, which is closer to battery acid. And this, when it's consumed in your body, can cause issues. The body naturally wants to hi hydrate itself, but when your body is super acidic, it has trouble hydrating itself. When you drink coffee, it's actually a diuretic. So it's pulling water out from your cells which is why people usually have to urinate after they've drank coffee. Coffee is also highly neurotoxic. There's been many studies done on coffee and what it does to brain function. And in rats, they found that it slowed down their brain function and it slowed down their blood flow to their brains. A lot of people think coffee makes them more energetic, but what it's actually doing is forcing your adrenal glands to release extra cortisol which gives you a brief sense of energy, but doesn't actually give you enough energy to continue on with your day without drinking more and more coffee. So alternatives to coffee are ashwagandha and dandelion root and licorice root. Ashwagandha is an Ayurvedic herb. It's very, very popular in Ayurvedic traditions because it's so it's so tonifying to the adrenals and it actually gives the adrenals extra energy when you consume it so that you don't have to stay consuming ashwagandha the same way that you have to stay consuming coffee to get that same stimulation and energetic effect. Just taking ashwagandha a few times a week gives your adrenals the stimulation that they need to be okay on their own and to give you actual energy instead of just a stimulating effect of false energy. You can also try licorice root. Licorice root recycles cortisol that's already in your bloodstream and pumps it back through your veins and into your adrenal glands. This is really great because people who have adrenal fatigue tend to run out of their cortisol and coffee just exasperates those effects. If you guys want to hear more about my experience with coffee, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be doing a video about adrenal fatigue next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.